Hey, what's going on, pros and presses? It's Cam doing Hitches123, and welcome to a, a a quick random video. So I managed to get hold of a couple of Ferrari uh, Ferrari branded phones. I'm just going to show you a bit about them and just look at them. So the first Ferrari, the first Ferrari phone I've got, I'm not sure what model it is, um, but it's got the nice leather box and everything. Ferrari, uh, I don't think you the light Ferrari Ferrari logo, uh, leather box and everything. So it's all nice. You've got your box and all that stuff, and then in there. You've also got your phone, which I'll get to in a second. Uh, in the inside, you've just got like your, you know, soft stuff. And you pull the handle, and you've got like all your, you know, stuff. And you've got some, got some user manual with a, with a funny Ferrari on the front. Um, so you get a spare battery as well. Um, you get the spare battery, which is weird. That's the box, nice box. <clears throat> So um, so this is the phone. I just don't know what mod, uh, model it is, but you can see the Ferrari logo at the top there, and the nice, uh, the coming down, what do you want to call it, like the border. And you've got the nice diamond uh, centerpiece there, and if you see the keypad, uh, it's a really cool design keypad. It's got the Ferrari logo at the bottom, and then it's got the like the fingerprint recognition thing in the middle, so you can scan it. Um, so it's a really nice set. No front camera. And um, at the top you've just got nothing at the sides. It's quite a chunky phone, but it's for design wise, you know, design purpose. Um and the back is nice to get nice nice, you know, back. And it has got a camera but it's shit as usual when there's no light or anything. So you take it off. I mean even this is this is fairly heavy and then again it's got the Ferrari uh, brand logo. I don't know if it says this the that no, doesn't say what model. Even even this feels you know, this is like proper metal, you can it is proper real metal, it's really thick to be made. So these these phones are 3G and they are dual SIM, um, which is the main purpose of it, the battery. You can put a micro SD slot as well. So you see it's got the two, you see it's got the two uh, SIM card slots at the bottom, and then it's got the, where's it? Uh, I think underneath of the bottom or something, it's got like a SD card, I'm not too sure, somewhere. So that's the inside of it, yeah, again, Ferrari branded, and if you can't see that, there you go. So I did manage to get this one to power up because guys, they are shit. They're only for design. <laughs> They're only for design. You say are shit, and they just don't work. Um, so I did manage to get this one charging because the the charger actually did work. The charger, for this one was. Let me just get it. It was. It was actually this charger. So it's some next up from port. So I had to get an adapter, and I get to get adapter which came with the box. To be fair, and then. You, this is the connector for it, and then it does go in just like so. And then, oops, yes. there you go. There you go. So that does actually properly connect. Um, but I will turn it on for you guys. And there you go. So on the main screen, you've kind of got like your battery at the top right, and you know, you've got your signal there, and then you've got like a Ferrari background that says Insert Sim 2. And on the menu, you've just got, you know, your stat. There's always this bar at the bottom. That's just shit, guys. You've got this menu bar at the bottom. That's always there, that, that bar there for no reason. You've got some stupid games. The keypad does light up, uh, light up nicely, as you can see. Um, you know, it's just got like that. Does make a beepy thing. So if you go on to like the camera, let's see, the camera is where camera is the camera and video is shit. And you see it's got the camera is uh this yeah, it's crap I and mean, you can't even see it. Um as far as that if I type something as well though it comes up as Chinese which is stupid. So if I type in A, there you go. I typed in A and I don't know if you can see that because uh, I'm only using the front camera on my iPhone so it's not HD. Don't know if you can see that. Focus, come on. That you, you, yeah, you, go, you can see some Chinese writing there, and uh, yeah, it's just shit. And then the keypad goes off. There you go. You can see that clearly now. So yeah, that's the look at the Ferrari phone. I've got another phone right next beside me. I'm gonna do a quick look at next. But like I said really like quite heavy, heavier than the iPhone with a case. But like I said, it's nice. Feel you know, it's nice big you know well built phone obviously it's just for show guys you know it's not good as a normal phone it's shit the writing is in Chinese it's just junk but it's just nice to have as like an aesthetic thing you know what I mean walk up and be like yo I got a fiery phone you know uh -oh. <laughs> anyway guys um 
I don't know what we'll be doing with these because I can't use them, and you know I might just have them as a, as a, as a what do you call that? As a, as an item of, show. So, and it freezes, and it freezes anyway. It bugs when it goes into the menu. It bugs and freezes out, and I can't turn it back on, and it just goes all glitchy. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and don't forget to comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.